I would like to specifically focus on skills development. Um, you know, over the years, um, especially since high school, really, I, I, I want to believe that I've, I've, I've been, I have been acquiring a lot of uh, skills, and um, I mean, most of us, right? Most of my friends that I speak to, and um, you know, most of the people I went to school with, kind of, uh, you know, most of us took our own path, kind of had after high school to dive deeper into things that we're all interested in you know and it's very interesting that after years and um you know when you meet up with guys it's so interesting what guys are actually into and what they're doing uh the profession that they got into you know is very interesting um so i guess today is our first series on human development um particularly skills development skills acquisition okay what does that entails okay um so learning or acquiring skills enable humans to shape and adapt to environments um you know what are the three types of skills development what are the three types of skills development okay there are cognitive technical and interpersonal skills under skills development okay cognitive skills is the ability to basically um be a critical thinker con consciously um you know do you you should uh you should ask yourself do you ever sit there and just and think like do you do you ever have those moments you know where you just Sometimes you actually should be doing something or whatever, but you just, you sit there and, and think. That's actually a very, very good thing and it's a very uh, necessary process. Um, you know, it's a very nice, necessary process in terms of your development as a person. Um, you know, being a, a thinker, just sit there and sometimes wonder about things that are going on in the world or something that's presently right in front of you that you're looking at or examining um you know you know just taking time out of the day and just thinking you know is a very important um skill so and then technical what's technical right technical is when is when um technical what's a technical skill you know it can be anything it can be something that you love doing that you that you dove deeper into you know particularly it's almost like think of it like specializing into something like say if you are like say if you are somebody who is into robotics or something you know and you go all in you know you learn how to program the robotics you learn the hardware part of it um you know you learn how to assemble it you know you learn all kind of things you know uh in terms of robotics um and then you even go as far as building your own you know so technical skills it doesn't have to be tech uh, it doesn't have to be technology involved um it can be you studying a certain subject a certain subject as well maybe you study uh economics that's technical skills you study mathematics that's technical skills you study um trees plants those are all technical skills you know um specializing getting into some certain subject or topic and just going all in you know knowing everything about that particular topic those are technical skills on and those are particularly very very important for us um for us for for our development you know as for human for our human development that is very very important um so this should be something that you're naturally interested in you know you're you're something that you're gonna develop for for years on end you know it has to it should be something that you're just naturally curious about it should not be forced or anything like that i mean we're all curious right and then 
you know there's so many stuff up there that we want to learn about but technical skills is something that you're naturally good at you know it's something that you're naturally curious about it's something that that you're gonna that you're probably gonna be learning or picking up books to read or buying things for or things like that your entire life it's something that you see that you just jump and gravitate to you know it's 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 that's something that you should um that you should be developing as your technical skills diving deep into and uh knowing everything that you that you possibly can about that um particular subject right so now the last one is interpersonal relationships right so we know like interpersonal relationship is basically relating to uh relationship skills and communication skills between people okay this is also very important in terms of uh, skills development so those are kind of the three things that i'm gonna try my best to focus on okay cognitive skills technical skills and interpersonal communication um those are a lot right but i'll be going through and touching up on say those three particular topic in my series for human development skills development um conversation here on this pod so if you're if these are things you're interested in subscribe you know so you keep up with the episodes like these videos so like-minded people like us you know um can be at the same spot watching the same video you know what i'm saying so things like that send it to a friend i i went to after high school i went to a community college um i studied I studied electrical engineering technology, right? It's a community college. Um, so I got my two-year degree there. And then from there, I got into a really good job. Yeah, well, I got into a really good company. It was a really good job as well. Uh, B. Brown Medical. I became a craftsperson, a craftsman, right? Um, I worked on their automation machines. So... These automation machines involved multiple systems all at once. They involved, I mean, in, other than robotics and, and, and servo motors, there were some, especially the new machines, All most of the new automation machines that are coming out, most of the robotics are all servo motors, okay? The older ones they had, um, had like most of them had probably like stepper motors, or some kind of uh, sensors that would that would kind of allow them to behave like servo motors but anyways um they also had other than electrical right they also had obviously mechanical so these so these were there were a lot of mechanical systems on these automation machines um and also pneumatics so I had the pleasure and the 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 um the opportunity to basically learn and get involved with machinery that involved uh not just electrical um troubleshooting mechanical troubleshooting and also pneumatics troubleshooting if if you guys don't know what pneumatics is or um you're not familiar with that particularly is air basically <laughs> that's the fancy term um for pneumatics really um it's it's uh devices like cylinders um they use cylinders you know valves and stuff to control the airflow you know and um so they use basically air as as a force to actuate um you know, like a shaft or whatnot, you know, on a on our assembly line, you know. So that's that's kind of like uh the gist of that. But 
Um, so, like I'm saying, I had the pleasure, especially we'll talk, we're we'll diving deep into this um, skills development series. So this will be the technical skills that I have that had developed that that B Braun helped me develop for about five years. Um, that's how long I was there. Um, so I came in with with some competence in those areas from school. Um, and I and while I was working as well at, in at B Braun, I continued my education. I was um, working towards my bachelor's degree. So and I was working towards my bachelor's degree, uh, and I ended up going to Penn State Berks bachelor's two years out of school um i'm currently working to get my uh, fun, uh my my fe where is a fundamental exam you take as an engineer i'm working on that guys quick advice on that it's not it's something that you have to work hard for let's say i thought i was going to come out of school and pass this fe exam but um i've taken it already um did not pass so but it kind of um, made me realize how hard I have to work to pass it. It's just like anything else, man. You got to put in the time and put in the effort. So I've been reviewing really, really, really hard. And I hope the next episode, um, the next podcast I get on and have this discussion, it's going to be maybe a celebration of me passing my FE exam. So for most of you guys in school, take it very serious, you know. Um, just going to keep studying. But like I said, my next episode, I want to let you guys know that I passed my FE, right? So, but skills, technical skills, okay? Skills acquisition. Um, I think maybe the first one is probably like the hardest one to develop. And I think, so it's a bit of cognitive, cognitive skills. Um, Man, that one I think you're really just gonna have to spend some time alone and um, and just think, man. Be a big, uh, spend some time thinking. If you don't, if you don't ever find yourself daydreaming or in your head, you know that's that's something that I guess you're gonna have to practice. Maybe try meditation. Um, and I think also like maybe reading books might help with that. Uh, because you know I I I believe like after after you you kind of confirm um i mean we don't after you confirm a lot of truths or at least learn a lot of truths from other people that have um ample ample time and and ample uh experience and they confirm certain truths for you you know like basically truths in life you know things how things work and how other people are and how humans behave and things like this um you can learn a lot but you can learn a lot about yourself first right and you can also apply that to people around you um you know it's always give you that edge so reading books and really just spending time thinking um, I think would probably help developing those skills, a cognitive skill. But that's probably honestly like a continuous long life thing that you're going to personally have to do. But I'll probably dive deeper into that. Um, developing cognitive skills, technical skills, um, finding a mentor, or maybe I shouldn't say that first, right? I mean, that that's always good. Um, Maybe in school, you know, your professor can be a is like a mentor. Uh, finding somebody who's just an expert on a particular topic. They can be your age group, but maybe they've been doing it for like ten years, five years. Who knows? Um, you know, a lot of ki- a lot of kids who are homeschooled are actually. I've run into kids who are homeschooled and they and, you know, some of them had so much experience um, building circuits. You know, because they've been doing it since high school like so by the time they got to college they already had like four years experience building circuits you know so um, technical skills comes over time but it's something it should be something that you're interested in uh, something that you enjoy doing um you know so 
but f- so find what you like doing and just start practicing it you're just gonna have to get hands on um or if it's if it's if it's knowledge base you know like say mathematics something that's not tangible um you know or just it maybe requires a lot of reading um things like that or even like say right if you're trying to become a scholar um you know on a particular subject or topic you know just read you gotta read 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 so i guess that would also you read and all of that that would help you with your cognitive skills as well and then lastly um the the relationship and communication skills with other people you know as you continue to learn and confirm truths about the world and and people and human de- and human behavior particularly that's also going to help you get is a full circle um so i guess the key ingredient in here would be learning <laughs> it's it's hard to say you know like i was when i was younger i was those i was really never into reading books um see i really i i I started enjoying reading books after high school. A lot of people do without going to college, you know, but you're definitely going to acquire, you're definitely going to have to acquire knowledge somehow, maybe visiting the library, uh, reading textbooks on those particular subjects. Um, but I would always advise to maybe sit down with somebody who's doing it or so you know so you can bounce ideas and and they can kind of guide you and put you in the in the right direction um you know so you're so you're processing the new information and new things you're learning properly i would i would advise you know and uh and the cognitive skills going back to that um, like i said this thing is a full circle but the cognitive skills i think is um I think sitting alone and, and thinking sometimes and contemplating on things um, is a time well spent to develop your cognitive skills, you know, and you will notice over time when you're, you're going to, you'll be making right decisions that you're happy with, you know, um, you know, at first, maybe you'll be, you'll be forced to make decisions, but maybe you're not happy with those decisions. But as you develop your cognitive skills, um, you know, you will get better at at, um, at making decisions that, that you're going to be happy with. So this is an introduction into skills development on the Abu Shah podcast. We'll be diving deeper into these three subjects, in, into these three subjects. So comment, like and subscribe. Um and send share these videos with with other like-minded people that you think would like to join us um, to explore these topics and uh, and see what we can learn. Peace.